Hello, today we will explain about the BD40 model of the Line Vortec brand produced by All Aim Machine and the face turning introduction video. We open our machine by switching it from the open and close button to the open position. Our machine consists of two units. The first one is the control unit and the second is the, the drive unit. We will also show the face turning process with our face turning apparatus. As you can see, here you see the red surface to be turned. We will perform the turning process on the red surface. This part you have seen is a heat treated hard metal. We will show the turning process on this part. If we briefly describe the control unit, we have buttons here to switch on and off. Fast forward and backward potentiometer. You can adjust it automatically and manually in the form of forward and backward that we see here. We give progress by turning this potentiometer. Here we have our spindle direction knob. It performs the rotation in the opposite direction clockwise. If we want automatically or manually, we can increase or decrease it with the help of the potentiometer. In the manual mode we see here, if the manual is not active, we make progress in rotation from these potentiometers. If automatic mode is active, we give our progress percentage number here. For example, if we wanted to move in 0.2 and minus direction, we enter the value and press the input button. When we press the start button, our cutter tool, which we see here, will advance in the minus direction by two tenths of a millimeter. We can save that the speed we see here and the reference starting point we see here. Reference starting point. Here we can see the values of our machine. This is the spindle part. So we see the values of whether the turning process rotates clockwise or anti-clockwise. Our speed consists of our torque and temperature. And we have an emergency stop button. Now we will explain you about the our face turning apparatus. Now we will explain you about the our face turning apparatus. Here you can see our cutter. With the help of this tool, we will perform the turning process in this area. In this section, we pull back or forward by attaching our support arm. This process resets the upward or downward movement of our cutter. Both pins must be clear for resetting. We view both pins and pull them back. Here we deactivate the tool. The second attachment is a simple drill with the help of a simple drill, we can move our tool up and down quickly. 
As you can see here, it moves up and down. And of course this process will be automatic during turning. You will not need a drill during the turning process. Now we will bring our cutter, which we have seen here, closer to the surface we will turn. After the necessary approach the process is provided, we will turn this red surface. Now, after precisely approaching, we make your reference rotation. We should know that one thing we should pay attention to is the direction of rotation. You need to adjust the direction of rotation according to the position of the cutter. We have not made any progress yet. We place our cutter exactly outside the red zone. You can see the distance between them. It is useful to be a short distance. The process we will do now is, from here we will give 0.2 millimeters minus progress while an automatic start. This means that I am bringing them much closer to the area where I will turn. As you can see, the tip of our cutter touched the area we will turn. After that, I start the face turning process. Our apparatus for the face turning process started to rotate. As we mentioned at the beginning of our video, smoke comes out because our metal part is a heat-treated hard material. Your turning process is over as you can see. As you can see here, we have captured a very smooth surface and created a perfect job. Now I want to add extra 0.2 millimeters forward further from the surface. I pull back my cutter with the help of a drill. After pulling back, I type 0.2 in the negative direction to the progress. 
but you can change it according to your process, such as 0.2 or 0.4 depending on the type of material. Now I wrote 0.1 here and pressed the forward and as you can see, it moved forward 0.1 millimeters. This time I will try to increase the rotation speed a little bit more. I want it to do a faster process. This process may take a little longer, but you will get a smoother surface. The faster you do it, the smoother your surface will be. As you can see, our surface has become smoother and we have achieved the desired result. Thank you for watching our video. You can contact us for detailed information.